middle-aged and older men with hypogonadism may receive testosterone replacement therapy, but the cardiovascular safety of testosterone replacement in these men has not been determined. A new trial evaluated the effects of testosterone replacement therapy on cardiovascular events in middle-aged and older men with hypogonadism and established cardiovascular disease or an elevated cardiovascular risk. In this Phase 4 multicenter randomized double-blind non-inferiority trial, approximately 5,200 men, 45 to 80 years of age, with pre-existing cardiovascular disease or an increased cardiovascular risk, at least one symptom of hypogonadism, and two serum testosterone measurements below 300 nanograms per deciliter, were assigned to receive daily transdermal 1.62% testosterone gel with doses adjusted to maintain testosterone levels between 350 and 750 nanograms per deciliter, or placebo. The primary cardiovascular safety endpoint was the first occurrence of any component of a composite of death from cardiovascular causes, non-fatal myocardial infarction, or non-fatal stroke, assessed in a time-to-event analysis. The mean duration of treatment was 22 months and the mean follow-up was 33 months. Testosterone was found to be non-inferior to placebo with respect to the primary cardiovascular safety endpoint. Approximately 7% of patients in each group had a primary endpoint event. The incidence of prostate cancer did not differ considerably between the groups. Prostate-specific antigen levels increased more in the testosterone group than in the placebo group. The authors conclude that in middle-aged and older men with hypogonadism and pre-existing cardiovascular disease or an increased cardiovascular risk, daily testosterone replacement therapy was non-inferior to placebo with respect to the incidence of major adverse cardiovascular events. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.